you, Hillel. I noticed that when you introduce me, you don't have to look at anything. You've done it so often. Um, but it's always a great pleasure to be introduced by Hillel and to have the occasion to commend Hillel for all that he does for UN Watch for the larger cause of human rights. This is Hillel's 14th year with UN Watch. And I consider my greatest contribution to humanity was to persuade Hillel to join you and watch as our executive director. I have attended all of the Geneva summits on human rights and democracy. And I sense today, and it struck me because it's a bit ironical, there's a positive spirit People seem to be looking up, yet from where I stand, where I live in Washington, I don't see cause for great optimism. Uh, we have not moved in a positive direction the way we had all hoped. Maybe the celebration is because we have Mayor Ledesma with us today. We heard from his daughter, his daughter, pardon me, several times. We hoped wished and prayed that he would be with us, and now he is. So that's cause for celebration. But when we gather together, it's not to simply blame and shame. We gather together in the hope of freeing people who are oppressed. So let's hope next year we have another political prisoner who's today in prison who will be with us. Maybe Mr. Badawe in Riyadh will join us. If not Mr. Badawe, other persons who are in prison for their beliefs, what they have said, their faith, their fight for the betterment of mankind. That's the real celebration. So we celebrate Mayor Ledesma. We look forward to celebrating the return of others. As I said, I don't feel great optimism. When you look back to 1948 and the Declaration of Universal Rights, we have not made great progress. But then I thought, why are we celebrating? And maybe it's because we need to take a longer view. And I've tried to do that. When my grandmother was born, there was slavery in the United States. She was born in 1861. When my parents were born, colonialism was rampant. All of Africa, except for Liberia, was under co colonial control. Much of Asia, from India to the Philippines, there was no Indonesia, it was Belgium. There was no independent countries, Nepal, Burma, Thailand. Colonialism has vanished, and that's a victory. Slavery is largely gone, certainly gone as a matter of national policy in most of the world. We can say 99% of the world. And when, my, when I was born, fascism was on the rise and communism was in control of what we now refer to as Russia and was to become in control of all of Eastern Europe and China, a large swath of the world. Slavery, as I said, is largely gone. Colonialism is in the past. And the ideological isms we don't speak of today. So why are we here? Why are we gathering? Because in the place of those has become ethnic extremism, tribalism, religious extremism. They are the matters we are fighting today. They're pernicious. But as the others were overcome, so too will they be overcome. I have all confidence in it. You are in the vanguard of the fight. The fight will not be won upstairs, regardless of what the duty and obligation, to use Hillel's words, may be of the Human Rights Council. They will not discharge that duty and obligation. You are here, whatever number we are, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever the number may be, and tomorrow 800, we are the vanguard which must keep up the fight. I leave you with simple words that were it not for you, the situation would be 
far worse. Thank you. <clears throat>